guys, welcome back. This is Mavis here with you, and I'm on the Ground Fox server again today. Um, I've actually got a few things planned today, so that's kind of nice. Um, I want to do some work in this area. Um, I've already kind of started on what might end up being a couch here. I um, haven't decided yet if I'm going to keep it. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, it's just kind of a build as I go thing and see if it works so um, I did kind of count the room off a little bit so I have some markers here that's what this these random pieces of dirt are um, but I have something I want to show you guys first of all that's the first thing I want to do on my list um, so you guys may notice there are quite a few chickens around this place um, there's quite a few inside too. I can't remember if I saw any when we were in there, but somebody gave me chickens. I'm not quite sure who it is. I have suspicions, but no culprits yet named. So we'll see. Random chickens. It's actually kind of nice. It's helping me gather eggs and I kill them and yeah, it's, it's not too bad. But So this is what I want to show you. Um, I have pretty much finished or am going to put the finishing touches on the tunnel today. Um, yeah. I have built this and redesigned it a couple times and then um, I believe it was last night Phaedra was on the server and kind of helped me come up with some stuff here. So this looks really good. I like this. Um, I'm almost maybe thinking that those need to be creeper blocks too. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so this is the tunnel. I have fought with this roof a lot. <laughs> I've built it and changed it and built it and changed it some more and I think I'm happy with this, but I don't know yet. We'll see. Um, I wanted it to look not perfect and kind of flow that way. I don't know if I like it. I don't know. We'll see. There's just a couple spots that I'm just like, eh, eh, I don't know. Um, in fact, no, uh, maybe that could be dark brown. Well, no, this isn't dark brown. Okay, it has to be even. <laughs> um, I did put some fencing here, and I think that kind of looks nice. Um, able to see out there a little bit, especially in these parts where the block doesn't connect to it. It's kind of cool. There's a few areas like that on here. Um, and I'm still going with the whole feel of trying to keep it stone that way as much as possible, and then the further it comes over here, the longer maybe it's been in the effects of the weather and stuff, and it's slowly starting to turn from stone to sand. So I kind of like that. And then you exit out here, and we're in the desert. Well, it's supposed to be the desert. Um, I've got my tree farm here, and it, I think that might be one thing that's on our agenda today, is to tear that down and move it, maybe. Um, so... Yeah, I actually think I am going to tear it down and move it today because Fado and I are going to start a new project potentially sometime in the future. And it's off that way, which is the way I want to move the farm. So it would make sense because it would be closer and we'll need wood and yeah, so we might do that today. Um, So the decorations in here, I was trying to go with kind of a desert theme, but yeah, I think it looks okay the emeralds to kind of signify uh, royalty and the temples and all that good stuff that you find in the desert. So um, further down here, the roof changed a little bit too, but I've kept that brown stripe. I kind of like that contrast of the colors there. Um, but we did lava in the floor here. And then Pedro had the great idea of putting lamps here. Um, and right now I have them turned on and it's becoming nighttime and I kind of want to see what they look like when they're off as well. So let's go do that real quick and hopefully we don't get blown up. I don't want to get blown up because obviously we get blown up a lot around here. Um, let's just turn that one off. I really want to turn the other side off too but it's harder to get to. Let's just see if we can do it real quick. And this is where all the bad stuff is. Like a giant hole over there and... Okay, let's go check that out real quick. Watch there be like a creeper or something in there waiting for us. Oh. <sighs> if something blows up my stuff, I will be mad. 
Okay. Let's see what they look like off. I mean, they look cool because the lava's here and it's keeping it lit. But it looks cool when it's turned on as well. I don't know. If you guys have any opinions or thoughts on that and which one looks better, let me know in the comments. That would be great. Because I can't make all the decisions all the time. <laughs> uh, but yeah, besides the lamps, I think the paintings look nice down here. Kind of draws your eye as you're walking down a little bit. And then the last little section down here, I did more item frames with stuff in the frames. Kind of, I think it looks nice. This is kind of representing and uh, showcasing the desert. And then the side is more of the uh, snow biome over here. So more chickens. They're even in here. Those are block chickens. Um, more lava in the floor here. I think that looks kind of nice. And then, oh, it's not loading. It's weird. Um, load, please. Thank you. More lava here. And I really like the blue on the walls down here on this side. It looks really cool. And I almost, I just, I wish we could do something more on the floor. Um, but these are half slabs, so it's kind of hard to do stuff. Um, and I really like the look of the stairs on the edge here, so I don't know. This just might be all that you can do with this part right here. The ceiling is awesome with um, the smooth stone and the stone brick contrast. I love that. I think that's gorgeous. And then the ice, just, it's beautiful. It's lovely. Love it. Um, we put some glowstone back there behind the painting to kind of give more light, and I think it looks kind of neat. Um, and then down this way. This looks kind of cool too. I like the contrast. Um, but what I have in mind right now is this little end part down here. It needs some paintings or something. Oh, dang it. I was going to get some blocks. Okay, that'll go right there. That'll work. Cool. Um, let's try this and maybe put that there. But what do I want to put in the item frames? Hmm. Let's see that one there. <clears throat> Bring some color into the picture. That looks good. What about that? I actually think that... I wish you could just hit the thing that's in the pot and knock it out instead of having to break the whole pot. Especially after I've moved them from my uh, hot bar. Jeez. Okay. Um... Hmm. Nope. There. Ooh. That might be too much, though. And this is Fajo's side, and I don't know if he'll want a bunch of girly flowers on here. <laughs> uh, but my thought was something like this. Maybe I'll just leave this side and let him decide if he likes it or not. Um. That looks all right I could handle it if it was my side but I'm a girl and it's cool um okay item frames one two three four five okay there but that doesn't really look like it's centered well um that looks a little better or I could do that, that, and that. Maybe. Um, these are the only trees that I brought, but I think maybe some oak ones should go in here too. That's a lot of flowers. <laughs> um, he might throw up. I'm going to take him away. <laughs> <laughs> I think the blue is good enough right here. So maybe, maybe, hmm, no, we need another tree of some sort. So let's go see if he's got any saplings. If I were a sapling, where would it be? 
He has so many chickens. <gasps> That's so scary when it doesn't load. I don't know what the issue is. I usually don't have issues with stuff loading and not loading. Oh, his dogs are growling at me. There are lots of chickens in here. That's bizarre. Okay. Where are the saplings? Flower. Wow, this is the messiest I've ever seen Fejo's chest look. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, he doesn't have very many oak. Fejo, you can go steal some from me. Mm. I kind of wish that you could put sugar cane in a pot. I think that would be cool. Like a tall. Ooh, what am I doing here? There, there. Okay. Like reeds or something in a. Come on. Okay, that's bugging me. <laughs> oh, goodness. Wow, he's got a lot of books. And an egg. Stupid dogs. Oh, yeah, I. I put this here for Fejo. <laughs> I guess I like to leave him flowers. <laughs> but I'm not going to put the flowers on the stairs. I think that's overkill. Um, I need some wheat. I think he does have a wheat farm down here. He does. Let's harvest some real quick. So, um, I am making this video as a, um, filler for my weekend coming up. Um, I've got a ultra hard car, it, uh, ultra hardcore, god, I can't talk, um, in your endo with guys coming up tomorrow night, and I need something to put up this weekend because... I am going camping and won't be home. Um, I actually probably have things that I could be doing to get ready for said camping trip, but I am hardcore addicted to this game and would rather p play this than go have to do work. <laughs> um, so, you need a chest in here. Ooh, what's back here? I haven't seen this. Very nice. Now I know what you were talking about when you said that you have a hundred pumpkins. Um, but yeah, I was going to say that you need chests in here for things like seeds and spare items. Um, so yeah, I'm going camping this weekend. Um, this is the fourth annual camping trip that we have been on with our friends. And... Sorry, I had to get a drink there. Um... I wasn't sure if we were going to go because uh, the friends are actually um, guys that my husband worked with and over the past year they've all kind of uh, gotten different jobs and moved on. Um, trees. I can't talk and build at the same time. So um, over the weekend one of our friends called and said, hey man, fourth annual camping trip coming up. Let's do this. So <laughs> he was like, oh yeah, I was supposed to call you guys like a week ago. So he forgot to call us. And I, I mean, I kind of figured it was going to be happening soon anyways. But and luckily we have all of our gear and everything that we need. So not that big of a deal. Just it's kind of last minute to pull everything together and plan meals and all that kind of stuff. But um, luckily we go with enough people. And there's actually going to be a lot more people this year too. Um, and we kind of all do like one dinner and one breakfast for the three or four days that we're out there and uh, so it works out it's kind of less stressful you know once you get past your day of cooking or whatever then you're good and you can just sit back and relax and worry about taking showers in the morning and all that kind of stuff and so yeah but I'm excited and these guys are really loud um, what I want to do is use the sword that Josh gave me and get some more excuse me I'm burping 
Um, some more leather. But at first, I want to breed these guys. I don't want to just kill them all and leave Fejo with nothing. I'm going to crash the server with all my cows. Okay. So the plan is... Hopefully... Well, first of all... Um, this spring has been very strange in Indiana. Um, it was really cold there for a long time, and then it was kind of hot the past couple days. And um, I've been looking at the forecast coming up for our camping trip, and this is the spring of like bipolar or something because this this week this weekend for the camping it's going to be at least 10 degrees cold, colder than it has been all week which I'm not complaining about it's that, that's nice at least we won't be so hot but last year we were burning up and out canoeing and you know on the water all the time and swimming and stuff and it was a lot of fun and getting sunburns and whatnot but this year, not so much. We'll probably be in jeans the whole time and potentially sweatshirts. And we're planning on going canoeing, but I don't know. We'll see if the weather cooperates. It might be too cold. Um, okay, guys, I'm coming in. Come and get your wheat. Um, but it'll be nice because, like last year, when it was so hot that we didn't really want to be or even have a campfire and. Like, especially during the day, but you kind of want to have one just to keep the bugs and stuff away. But it's miserable when it's 90 degrees and being drunk <laughs> on a really hot day and you're just, you have no escape from um, the weather really is, is kind of bad. Um, <laughs> when we were canoeing, I got pretty drunk and then I had to come back to the campsite and take a nap before we ate dinner. It was kind of funny. <laughs> um... How many do I have? Nice! Okay, that's good. Um, look out, guys. So, my idea for my dinner, if anybody cares, um, and definitely if you have any suggestions, I'm open to them because <laughs> I'm always up for new things, especially if it's easy and whatnot. But um, last year I did chili for our, our supper and... Um, it was kind of nice because we were able to have it on um, hot dogs and stuff like that for lunch the next day instead of just doing plain old hot dogs on the fire. But And then for breakfast, I did um, this thing that I found online and you take um, a few eggs and you um, break them into a Ziploc bag, chicken. And then you add any toppings you like, any veggies or meats or anything, and chicken. Um, and then you add cheese and you squish it all up in the bag and you put it in a pot of boiling water. And luckily we had um, the base for a turkey fryer um, att attached to like the propane tank. And we used that to cook our food. And that was really actually nice. And my brother-in-law um, actually took our the turkey fryer that we were using with him when he moved to Texas. So I think we might have to buy one of those for our camping trip this year because it, it makes life a lot easier than having to cook over a fire. Uh, a little cheaty, but it's nice. So I did the like omelets for breakfast and they were they were pretty good. But this year I'm thinking about doing um, taco soup or tortilla soup whichever you want to call it it's more tortilla soup I suppose um, that for dinner and taking like chips to crumble in it and sour cream and cheese to put in it um, and then for breakfast I thought about just getting um, the big jugs of um, pancake mix that you just add water and you shake it or maybe it's milk I don't even know but uh, shake it up and then you make pancakes and then maybe doing like sausage or bacon or something like that we'll see uh, this can stay here mm. I'm on the other side I'm turned around a little bit okay 
And another pretty cool event that's going to be coming up here shortly after our little um, Memorial Day holiday. Um, my office goes to summer hours pretty much every year. Um, so... Yeah, on Fridays in the summer, we close the office a little early. Typically, we get off at 4.30. Um, on Fridays, we either... One year, it was 3 o'clock that we closed, and then last year, it was 2 o'clock. Um, so this little river down here, I don't know if you guys have actually ever paid attention to this or if I've showed it even. I probably have jumped across it a few times. But What I am thinking about doing is maybe digging it out so that it goes all the way around because it does go all the way around it like th this is just the only part right here that it gets kind of stopped so I can maybe even do like a water fountain or a waterfall up there maybe that would be kind of cool but calling this my little Nile River here because it's kind of sandy and deserty and that kind of thing on this side and it goes all the way around like you can follow it all the way around um, and then over here you cross the river well, it's more like a creek or a stream right now. Uh, but I wanted to actually, like, fill it in a little bit. Uh, but if you come over here, it's all pretty and green and thriving and mobby and... Is mobby a word? <laughs> all that kind of stuff. Um, and this is actually where I'm thinking about moving the tree farm. Why has it got to rain all the time? Um, so yeah, tree farms over here, potentially even like um, wheat farm and potatoes and all that kind of stuff. And back here I have chicken. There's lots of chickens. Sheep farm. Oh, and I left the wheat over there. Dang it. Uh, let's go ahead and get in here and shave these guys though. Do I not have a chest out here? I totally need a chest. Really? XP? I must have left the chunk and something. Yeah, I didn't kill any mobs just now. That was weird. Okay, let's build a couple things real quick. Let's do this, and then make a chest here. That way I can bring some wheat next time I'm out here and keep growing these bad boys. Chickens. Um, I need to. I want to get a big sheep farm. It's kind of nice when there's more than one on the server. Moshe's is epic, though. Okay. Why you guys have to congregate right here? I don't. I just. I don't get it. Cause you know it annoys me. Probably. Okay. Um. So yeah, the camping thing, I'll be gone. Um, I'm going to try to get this video up and scheduled so that it will go up while I'm gone. And then uh, we're leaving. Okay, we're going to go set up our camp, camp on Wednesday night. And then um, Thursday, I'm not sure exactly if somebody's going to be staying out there, but at least somebody will go and check on our campsite and all that good stuff. But then... I asked for a Friday off, and um, I'll stay home and get everything packed ready to go, and then leave Friday afternoon and head down there, and our tent will already be set up so we can just start drinking. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, then Monday I will have another uh, video going up, so that's good. Um, so we killed the cows, we decorated the tunnel, <laughs> what else do I have on my list here? Um, have we had any mobs growing here yet? Nope. Um, let's throw an egg in there. So one other thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is, oops, no, but I didn't mean to break it. Um... I will have a new series coming up shortly after the holiday. 
don't exactly know when just that it's coming so you guys should definitely stay tuned for that um and I really I think that that's all that I had on my list that I really want to talk about um I think for now what I'm going to work on is tearing down all these trees and making this this place actually look like a desert because you're not supposed to have trees like this in the desert we might have a few stray trees but um we'll see I don't know I might, what I'm actually thinking maybe about doing is getting an oak tree that's really, really big. And is that, I can't tell if that was a big one that I didn't get all the way cut down. Yeah, it looks kind of like it. I'll have to tear that down. But getting one of those big ones that grows and tearing off all the leaves, since this, this is the jungle and it's, or the jungle, the desert, and it's supposed to be dead here. So maybe we'll make a dead tree. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm going to work on that, getting it all moved across the river over there. And again, thank you, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.